From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, our relatively pleasant evenings will continue to be followed by warm afternoons. Downright hot for this time of year. Temperatures running about 10 degrees above normal through the weekend, but we have a cool front on the way, and that's going to bring it down for a couple of days into a much more comfort zone as we go into Monday and Tuesday. Got a live shot for you here as we look down upon a victorious Cajun field this evening. Always nice to get out there. It was a beautiful night to be out there and you know I like shots like this. I always want to be a big man on campus and now I am. <laughs> look at that. I'm standing on the 50 yard line. Anyway, let's let's go kick it upstairs and see why it's been so nice out there. High pressure large and in charge in the upper levels pretty much sitting on Louisiana this afternoon, squelching all showers and most of the clouds for that matter. And it's going to stick around for another day. We have this little upper level low here over by the Bahamas, Florida. That's going to keep it wet toward Florida, but that's going to scoot well south of us as high pressure begins to shift eastward and that's going to open up the door for an upper level trough that's going to come down and bring a cool front this way as early as Sunday night. So maybe a few showers for Sunday afternoon this weekend. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. But fair skies right now, very light northeast winds. So temperatures and dew points will come down just a little bit. Uh, we were in the upper 60s to near 70 this morning. You can see it was cooler and markedly cooler as you went farther to the north, even upper 50s in the northern part of the state. Then a nice warm up this afternoon with temperatures settling down into the 70s right now. But you can see Alexander Andrea on Northward Prime to get into the 60s later on this evening will favor upper 60s across the I-10 corridor. So we open it on up, got a little bit more in the way of development. I pointed out this tropical wave at uh, the 5 and 6 o'clock newscast. Now the National Hurricane Center giving it a slight chance, 20% chance of development. And if it develops, it's going to be up here, but no major concerns. Bermuda may have to keep an eye on it, but by the time it gets up here, it's going to get caught in the upper level westerlies. Meanwhile, we have a pretty potent little hurricane here, Category 2 storm in the far eastern Atlantic. Atlantic. Very rare to see such a tight little storm right here uh, so far to the north and east. And this is a 105 mile per hour storm, Hurricane Ophelia. It won't be a hurricane, but it's going to be a potent storm system as it becomes extra tropical or a post tropical cyclone as it heads toward the UK, likely to bring some uh, pretty heavy uh, rains and uh, wind impacts to Scotland, uh, Ireland, and England come Monday and Tuesday. So, what a hurricane season! It has been. This is the 10th hurricane in a row that's been upgraded from a tropical storm, which is a record uh, as long as we've been keeping records in the uh, tropical Atlantic. Meanwhile, in the near term, warm through this weekend, but we will be watching this upper level trough. It's going to deliver a cool front and cooler air as we go into next week, but unfortunately it doesn't stay long as we go into the mid and latter part of next week. We'll see a warm up going into the following weekend. Then some very cold air moving down into the Rockies a week to 10 days down the road. Not sure if that's going to make it here or not, but by next week and we may be back to near 90 degrees after that cool down early next week. Near term fair skies temperatures in the upper 60s tomorrow morning. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, maybe a stray cloud in the afternoon, but no weather issues to speak of other than the heat and uh, heat and disease pushing into the mid 90s. And then as we go further down the road into Saturday, maybe a few clouds, um, not uh, expecting too much in the way of any kind of significant shower activity. And then here comes that front, a 20 percent chance chance of shower Sunday and then chilling down nicely as we go into Monday, Tuesday. Tonight, lower 60s uh, northern parishes, mid to upper 60s I-10 quarter, mid to upper 60s to near 70 as you get into the coastal marsh. Then tomorrow after that, a nice start will top out in the lower 90s. Heat indices in the mid 90s. So another pleasant evening, mild temperatures, few patches of fog by daybreak, 68 year low. Then for tomorrow, we'll see temperatures getting into the lower 90s with a hot finish to the week and a hot start to the weekend as well. And as we mentioned earlier, Festival Zacadia and Creole will be hot and dusty. Uh, make sure you stay hydrated as temperatures will be in the lower 90s the entire weekend. As we go down the road, there's the good stuff. Monday, Tuesday, highs in the upper 70s, lows in the mid 50s, and enjoy it. We got about 48 to a 72 hour window, and then, <laughs> then we're back to where back. we are right now. All right, thanks, Rob. Still ahead here tonight on KATC.